think everybody knows me, but if you don't, you can call me Bruce. I'm Bruce. That's me. Uh, for those of you who know Hunter, I'm Hunter's grandfather, so he's getting an extra lesson today. So I thought we would draw some objects. These are not going to be too hard. Uh, we're going to go till around four or until you guys are ready. If you want to jump off early or you got something else to do, feel free to do that. Um, I'm going to start with an apple. And this is not my lunch. This was my breakfast, but I saved one for this drawing. So this is what you see on the screen. I basically took a picture with my phone of an apple. And we're going to make this into a cartoon character. So, so I want you to take the, your pencil. I'm going to use blue, okay? I'm going to use the color blue as my pencil. I'll, I'll explain it when we go along. So, so take your pencil, and I want you to draw the same shape. This is what I call the shape stage. So when you're drawing anything, like an apple or a banana, don't worry, I'm not eating. These are all what we're going to draw. Then it's all about the shape. The first stage is the shape stage. And if I go too fast, just tell me to slow down, or if you have a question, I know you can, you can raise your hand, but in case I don't see you, just say I have a question and we'll go, okay? So let's all start drawing. We're going to draw a circle first. Everybody can draw a circle, right? So we're going to do a circle like this. What, what, else does an, what else does an apple have on it? It has a stem, right? So let's draw the stem on the top. This is just a warm-up, just a warm-up. Okay, so now we got our apple. Now we need to make it a cartoon character. So how would we make it a cartoon character? What do we need for a cartoon? What do you guys look at? What are you looking at the screen with? Your eyes, right? Let's draw some eyes on it. Let's do, let's do a set of eyes like this. And then we could put... the. The eyeballs in there, the pupils, right? Okay, so now we can do the mouth. We don't need to do a nose, right? We'll just do a mouth. So let's just do a mouth like this. Okay, so let's draw, let's draw some arms on them. So let's do two shapes like this. Yeah, let's do legs next. Good, good plan. Let's do the leg. We'll do we'll do a silk to uh, shapes like this for the legs too. <laughs> Hi April, how are you? Hi April. How are you? We're just drawing an apple. We're just warming up right now. All right, so let's let's draw some hands on this apple. Do you know what the old cartoons only had three fingers? Do you know why that was? Because it's easier than drawing four fingers. That's why. So let's draw. A thumb first. Okay, and then we'll draw another finger here, another finger, and another finger. One big hand. <laughs> you can make your hand smaller if you want. All right, so let's do the other side. We'll do the thumb again. Do one finger, another finger, and another finger. How's it going? Everybody's okay so far? All right, let's let's do let's do let's do the feet. Let's draw some socks on them first. Draw a shape like this. <laughs> I think we should put socks on them. If you're gonna put shoes on them, we should put socks on. Now, if you guys know what a peanut looks like, think of a peanut when you draw the shoes, okay? So we're going to draw the shoes kind of like a peanut shape, like this. Hey, 
Well, you may have to wait till the Lux one to catch up. I don't know. You guys came in a bit late. You all right? Okay. So let's draw some details. So let's draw some details on this now. This is the basic shape of the uh, apple. So now I'm going to, I'm going to switch to uh, black. And I'm going to, we're going to draw the shape on this now. Let me uh, put this down a little bit so you guys can see how it works. Can you still see my apple? Okay. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to draw on top of this. So we can now start making things. Should we put some pants on it? It's always good to have pants on, right? We should put pants on our apple. So let's put some pants on like this. Apple's got pants. There you go. <laughs> You can use a colored pencil. You can use a, you can just press down more if you want. Or if you only got a pencil, just press a little harder. Or you can switch to another color like I did. So when we're drawing cartoons, we usually have the pencil stage. Then we have what we call the ink stage. And then we add the color. Okay. So now we can do the body of the apple. And you might actually want to make it look more like an apple if you want with a little dip in the top. <laughs> are you making applesauce hunter is that what you're making? <laughs> okay let let's let let's do the eyes let's do the eyes like we had before we'll do the eyes. <laughs> that's okay we're gonna do another one don't worry if you mess up there's no no mistakes in art Okay, so let's do the stem, and I think the stem we should make into a little hat. What do you guys think? So let's do, let's do a little piece like this, and then put the stem on top of it. <laughs> so it looks like a little hat. <laughs> okay, so let's do, let's go down to the legs. Oh, let's let's do the mouth first. Put the mouth put the mouth on them. Yeah. All right. So let's do the legs now. So we're gonna do we're just gonna do the legs the way we just the bottom part now. Don't forget the socks. And now I'm gonna do the shoes. And on the shoes, I'm going to put the little piece on the bottom, and maybe I'm going to put some laces on it. Bless you. And then I'm going to do the other one. So I think we should put some sleeves on the arms of this apple. So let's do uh, short sleeves, all right? So we'll just do some short sleeves like this on either side. And then we're gonna do the arms of the apple on either side. Don't do the hands yet. Well, you can if you want, but let's do the, let's just do the arms first. Everybody still with me? Okay. So let's let's give let's let's do the hands now. So you can do the hands if you want. You can do them the way we had them. You can do this with anything in your house. You could go and draw the lamp and make the lamp a cartoon character. There's you can, no problem doing this stuff with anything. So that's why it's fun to do.
So now if you erase your pencil, if you didn't, if you use like another, a colored pencil, you could erase all your pencil marks and this is what your apple would look like. Okay. And now you could add color if you wanted to, where we um, make the, the apple green. Let's see, we got apple green here. So then we could just color in the apple. If you don't have green, you don't have to color it in if you don't have. You can use whatever color you want. You can make a yellow apple if you want, or a brown apple, or blue apple. Has anybody ever seen a, a blue apple? Are there blue apples out there? No? Probably not a thing. Okay. All right. I'm, actually, so we got to do green all the way down. Remember, at, it's an apple, so he's going to have green legs. He's going to have green arms. <laughs> you just... Now what I'm drawing on is I'm drawing on my iPad. So this is a program called Procreate, or I'm drawing on my iPad. So let's draw uh, the pants blue. I'm gonna do the pants blue, like if he's got jeans on. And I'm gonna put, my, put the shirt in red. And uh, what's a cool color for running shoes, Hunter? Orange. Okay. If you say so. I've never had orange running shoes, but if you say so, I'm good. Really, they can, yeah. Now, I think we need to do red socks because this... This is a this is a cool apple. He's got a match all the way around. So I think we should do red socks because he's got a red shirt. That makes him match. What's that? Did you guys have a question? How's everybody doing? Good. And I'm gonna put him in a yellow hat just so we know it's a hat. Yeah. <laughs> And there you have your there you have your apple cartoon. So we made we took that apple and we made a cartoon. Pretty good. Did everybody get an apple cartoon? <laughs> okay. All right, where are you going? In the store? <laughs> okay, bye. Okay. I can't see anybody's apple. If you hold it up, I guess I can see your apple. Okay, we're ready to, how we do it, we're ready to move on? Ready to try another one? Okay. No? Who's still working on it? We're good? 
Okay. So the next one we're going to try is a banana. We're going to do the same thing again. Here's the banana. We had to do the class today because I'm eating this banana tomorrow for my breakfast. So we couldn't do the class tomorrow. We had to do it today. I know it's a rotten banana, but I'm sorry. It's the last one of the bunch. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, you know, we, we have to eat in this house. So, okay, so we're going to do the same thing to the banana. What do we want the banana to be doing? What do we want? Just think of, what do we want the banana to be doing? What? Dancing? Okay, let's do a dancing banana. Okay, so the first thing, so everybody's got their pencil. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw, we're going to draw the banana, but we're going to draw it more. Oh, we're going the wrong way. I know. That, that's what happens when you're on an iPad. Okay, so let's draw the banana. But let's draw the banana more like this, more this shape, standing up. Looks like a hot dog right now, but it's going to look like a banana when we're finished. Trust me. <laughs> okay, so we're going to make the, the top part a little thinner, just like that we did before. Remember, a banana has a couple different layers to it. So where do we want to put the eyes? Probably right, right about here, right? We'll put the eyes on. We'll do the eyes like we did with the apple. I got a banana. <laughs> okay, so let's... Let's do the let's do the arms first. We're gonna do the arms, but we're dancing, remember? So I don't know if this is how you guys dance, but I'm gonna put my arm like this because he dances really funny on this side. <laughs> and on this side, I'm gonna put my arm like this. I know I dance really funny. I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to draw the legs. So let's draw a leg like this, going this way. And then we're going to do the other leg. We'll do the other leg like this. We're drawing a dancing banana. Hey, Brad, I think you got to turn your video on. We just had someone join us. Brad, I think you have to turn your video on. I don't see you guys. I see your name, though. Okay, so now we're going to draw one foot like this. So we're going to draw an oval here. We're going to draw an oval here. Let me see. And then we can draw. We can draw some, uh, we can just draw a circle for the hands right now. We're going to just draw a circle for the hands. And I think we should draw a couple music notes so people know that he's dancing or she's dancing. And I think I think we got to draw the mouth. Let's draw the mouth on there. So we're going to draw the mouth like this, and then let's draw the mouth like really happy, like like super happy. Because <laughs> if I was a dancing banana, I'd be super happy too. So. Okay. So. Okay. So I, I'm going to now. So so now we're going to switch to our, um, our, your pen or your darker pencil, whatever you used for the detail from last time. <laughs> I 
We're not allowed to draw all that fancy pants and stuff on it. That's right. All right. Okay. So now let's start. Let's let's start with the eyes. We'll start with the eyes on this one. So let's start with the eyes first. Go over top of the eyes. Like you need the other one. And, the, and when you're drawing stuff like this, where you have stuff going in front of something else, you have to draw that first. So see how the leg is going in front of the banana? Let's draw the pants on the leg first. So we'll draw the pants around there. And then we'll have the pants come down like this. So you're going to have a banana with pants on, which is not something you normally see. And then we'll finish the pants. So once you have one leg, then you draw the other leg just like this. It looks weird for a while, but just keep going. We'll be fine. So now we're going to draw the leg that's sticking out. So let's draw a leg like this. And you can make it a human leg if you want. You can put muscles on it, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> And let's draw socks on it. I'm, I'm really big into socks, as you can tell. You should all wear socks when you're dancing. <laughs> okay, so remember the peanut shape. When you draw this, do the peanut shape. You can do this dance on TikTok after you finished, right? You can just plan this. <laughs> For those of you on TikTok, I'm not on TikTok, but the rest of you are. <laughs> okay, so let's do the other let's do the other leg. So we're gonna do the other leg down like this. And we'll put the socks on that as well. You good? Okay, so now we're going to, let's put some, yeah, we're going to do the arms, but let's do the um, side of the banana first. So let's work our way up, up there. And you can even put pockets on the pants if you want. That's, that's important because... And since this is a hip banana, I say we put a cell phone in his back pocket. So let's put the cell phone <laughs> back here. <laughs> I'm old school, so I put an antenna on mine, but you don't have to put an antenna. <laughs> you don't have to put an antenna on yours. It's okay. <laughs> All right, so let's draw the mouth of this banana. You can, you can, he can't answer the phone because he's dancing. That's right. Okay, so let's put the shirt on him. So I'm going to put a, sh a, a little sleeve on him right here. And you can attach this. That's why I only drew so far up, because I can attach the sleeve to the top of the banana like a shirt. So now we're going to draw... We're going to draw the arm. A party light. You can draw a party light. <laughs> okay, so let's draw. I'm going to draw a fist on this side just because it's easier. So we can draw a fist like this. This is a good way to do kind of a fist if someone's busy. You draw a fist like that. On the other side, on the other side, we'll draw another sleeve. Uh, 
Okay, so now we're going to draw the other arm. And I think we should do a thumbs up on this one. So we're going to draw thumbs up like this. <laughs> hey, thanks, Brad. How are you, man? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, don't forget the teeth. I forgot the teeth in here too. So <laughs> you can make teeth or not make teeth, depending on what you want. Okay, let's put some. Uh, I'm gonna put some um, eyebrows on them because I th I think all bananas should have thick eyebrows. That's it. Old school, man. Old school. <laughs> okay, so now let's finish the top of the banana. So now we're going to draw from the sleeve. We're going to draw behind the eyebrows all the way to the top like that. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. But when I draw the top of the banana, which is this part right here, when I draw the top of that, I'm going to draw it like a, a piece of hair. So I'm going to have it come out like this. Because it's a cool banana. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I, I want hair like that because I don't have any hair, so I like hair like that. Okay, so so you can uh, any see where the um see where the sleeves are and the same with the pants. If you color that black, it'll look like the legs are going right into pants. That's the whole idea. And don't forget the uh two music symbols we had. We make these for Brad. Brad from the Killing Time band's on here, great Burlington band. He's on. So we're doing that for him. <laughs> okay, so now if you can, erase erase your lines. So you erase the pencil lines so that your uh, your drawing looks just just like this one here. Should have just a black and white drawing. Uh-oh. <laughs> you have to redraw it then, Hunter. <laughs> Call Houston. <laughs> okay, so you guys, okay, so the next piece to do is we can color it. But instead of coloring it, I'm going to actually show you guys how to make your drawings look 3D. Okay? So we're going to have the sun or the light. I'm going to put the light over here. The light is coming in this way on our drawing. Okay. Yeah. That's, so I'm going to use a gray, but you guys can use any color you want. Um, if you're using yellow, like if you colored in your, your banana yellow, you might use like a gold color or something like that. But I'm going to use just a gray so I can show you. So anything, if the, if the light is coming this way, anything on this side will be in shadow. So I'm going to put shadow here. I'm going to put shadow on this side. I'm putting shadow so that it looks 3D. So anything that's out of the light would be in shadow. This is a great way to make your drawings look 3D. Give them a little extra punch.
So anything that is basically out of the light, you would put this. And you can actually do this on the ground if you want. You could make a kind of like a shadow on the ground like he's dancing and color that in. It'll look like he's, he's dancing. Don't forget the big foot. guys are going to go back to school like amazing artists <laughs> you'll be drawing don't draw the teacher like a banana that's a rule that'll get you a detention let me tell you that's from that's from reality <laughs> who's that bentley You saw me the other day. It's okay. I'm not offended. So how did everybody's drawing? Do do it. Do an art show. Everybody, hold up your drawing to the to the screen. So we can all see your drawings. How do we do? Oh, awesome! Oh, there you go. Way to go! Oh, you guys are doing good. Yeah, hey, you guys did really good. Awesome! Awesome! Oh, good one. Way to go. You guys did a great job. It's supposed to look weird. Okay, so let's draw another one. If you're getting tired, if you're getting tired, you can leave, but we're gonna we're gonna draw another one here. And we're gonna see this, see this? This is a sponge. Is there a cartoon character that's got a sponge that's made out of a sponge? SpongeBob. I think we should make this this uh, thing into SpongeBob. Okay, so we're gonna draw we're gonna draw this sponge and then we're gonna turn it into SpongeBob. So let's do our pencil layer first. We're gonna just draw just draw a rectangle like this to begin with. And then on this side you can draw the rest of the sponge. So you're basically just drawing a block of wood. <laughs> it looks like a sweat. And I'm going to put in a, a picture of SpongeBob because it's always good to have a picture of SpongeBob. Uh, where's my SpongeBob? Oh. Hi, <laughs> April. How you doing? Are you drawing? <laughs> drawing. <one? laughs> All right. Okay, so let's start let's start drawing SpongeBob. I think we need a couple circles for eyes. And we need a nose. Don't forget buck teeth like I have. You got to put those in. <laughs> and he's got cheeks. And he's got arms. When you're drawing your shape stage, you can draw it really fast. Like you don't actually have to try and make it look like anything. You're just drawing kind of the uh, basics.
Just a sponge, that's right. That's how fast you can put in. This is what we call the shape stage. Look how, does it look like SpongeBob already? Starting to, right? But we're going to make it better because this is the cool class and we always make things better. That's how we work. That's how we roll here. All right. So now I'm going to just uh, put this one down a bit. Who's behind? You want me to wait so we can catch up? Here, here's the sponge if you need to see what the sponge looks like originally. But you don't have to draw all the lines. It's not part of it. So. Okay, so I always like to start with the face. When I start, I always like to start with the face. So let's start with the nose because the nose is the first thing that goes over everything. So we're going to Start by drawing the nose here, like this. And I'm going to draw this cheek on this side because it's overlapping the eye. We'll color it after. Color it after. Okay, so let's draw, let's draw an eyeball first here. And then we can do the other eye. He's got eyes just like me, like cross-eyed. And let's draw the mouth. Draw the top of the mouth. And don't forget those two teeth, because they're important. Everybody got the face drawn in? No, not yet. Oh, you didn't plug your iPad in. Oh, you got to be ready. You got to plug it in ahead of time. <laughs> okay, so now we've got the face in. Oh, don't forget the uh, the eyelashes here. I forgot the three eyes. Okay, so now when we do the sponge, because if you look at SpongeBob, his sponge is kind of wrinkly. It's not square like ours. So when you do the sponge, make sure the lines are wavy on the top, okay? On all the spots here. So you're going to go along the edges, but you're going to make them wavy, not straight. And then do the bottom part. So that's the front. And then we're going to draw the sleeve on this side. You do both sleeves. And then again, when you do the other part of the sponge, make it wavy, right? Everybody's okay? You're all with me? <laughs> okay. So let's draw the arms. We'll just do the two arms here, the arms. But you don't have to draw the hands, or you can go ahead if you feel comfortable doing that. So then the next part is this shirt. we got to do the shirt and pants. So this is what we're going to do next. So we're going to draw two little triangles for his collar, and then this little part of his tie, and then you can make the tie come down like that. Okay, now draw uh, the lines here for the side of his body, but you got to watch where his pants is. His pants are actually up here. Okay. Everybody got his pants drawn in there? Don't forget his belt. That's what those black things are. That's his belt.
Has anyone seen me walking around with my pants like that? Because I wear my pants like this all the time. <laughs> Don't answer that if you have. Okay, so let's draw. Now, ours is a little different than the picture, right? Because I've drawn mine on more of an angle. So I'm going to draw my pants the way we did in the last two, where you can actually see the legs coming out of it like this. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And don't forget those groovy socks he's got that come up way up top there. Those You can put some stripes on it. <laughs> so now we're going to draw the feet. So you can draw... Think of like the peanut. That's what we've been drawing all day, right? And then we'll do the same on this side. Now this one I'm going to draw like it's facing forward a bit. So I'm going to draw it like this. And now we've got some, got the hands we've got to do. So we can do the hands like this. The hands are pretty easy. Three fingers again, because they're cartoons. We can do the one on this side. And I'm going to color in inside the pants, like we did, to make it look like the legs actually go into the pants. And I'm going to add some freckles because he's got freckles on him. Three precisely on each side. <laughs> and if you want, you can draw a light circle around the uh, parts of the sponge where it goes. And once you've done that, you're going to erase your lines. So we're going to take this line out of here. And you should have a picture that looks like that. So now we can start coloring, right? You want? Oh, wait, I forgot the back of his body. Hold on. I forgot this part back here. That's one cool SpongeBob, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. Appreciate the support, man. <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's start coloring them in. Yellow seems to be the color of choice, I think, because it's SpongeBob. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> oh, wait, I'm on the wrong layer here. Hold on. I'm on an iPad, so I gotta work my layers. Okay, so now we're gonna color them yellow. Yeah. You, you can do yours any color. It doesn't have to be yellow. Make it whatever sponge color you like. Do red. Yeah, the picture, and then we're going to color the pants in brown, right? So, everything yellow.
And then you can do the uh, you can do the tie red. And don't forget the eyes blue. And uh, what else did I miss here? Uh, I'm going to color in my. Uh, I'm going to color in the shoes a dark gray here. Bless you. Okay, so now when you get to this point, we actually have to still add the shading. Remember last time we added some shading to make it look 3D? So I'm gonna take a darker color. You could use like a, a light green or something, but let's fill in all the spots for the sponge. We're gonna make those green right here. That's the first thing we're gonna do. And then if you want to make it look 3D even more, you could take that same color that you just used and just do the side of SpongeBob. So I'll leave this whether you want to do it, but this is how you can make it look a little 3D by doing just the side of it. All right, so it looks kind of like that. And then uh, you could use maybe a, a light gray or something down here. Well, I forgot his uh, legs here. <laughs> it's like a lot. <laughs> so, did everybody's SpongeBob work out? Yeah, everybody got it good. Okay, so what do we want to draw now? Do we want to keep going? Are you guys tired? We can go, we can try and draw one more if you want, or would you like to, what do we want to draw? What do we want to draw? I didn't, I don't, I only have a banana, an apple, and a sponge. It's all I brought. So what do we want to draw now? What, what would you like to draw? You want to draw another cartoon character? Spider-Man. Spider-Man's pretty involved. Why don't we leave that for uh, next week? Because I think that's going to be pretty involved. That's going to take more. Let's just... Paw Patrol? Oh, all right. I'm going to have to find a picture of Paw Patrol. Hold on. Paw yeah, hockey puck. Let's do a hockey puck. I like that. That's a little short one we can do. All right. So let's do a hockey puck. idea. And we have no we have no picture, so this is gonna be a good one. So Okay, so we're gonna draw a hockey puck and we're not gonna have a picture, so we actually really have to think about this. What's what shape is a hockey puck? That that's right. So let's do a circle. Well but we're gonna but we're going to put a side on the hockey puck, right? So we're going to put a side like that. Does anybody remember Peter Puck? You guys are probably too young, but Peter Puck used to be on the NHL. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a picture of Peter Puck, though. I should probably find a picture of him. Let me see. Let me see if I can find a picture of Peter Puck. That was that was when I was a kid, so I don't know if you guys are going to Uh, no. Okay, there you go. I got a picture of him. Okay. All right, so this is Peter Puck. So, so Peter Puck had his eyes were like this kind of cartoon style. They were they were independent circles, so they were like this. All right. And now we're going to draw the mouth on him. He had a big smile like this.
And Peter, Peter always had a, he, he always had his arms out like this. We're going to draw this one here. And I think because he's a hockey puck, he should hold a hockey stick. So on this side, I think we should give him a hockey stick to hold. So we're going to do three ovals like this, like if it's his, his hand, and then we're going to put the hockey stick in it. And then we got to draw his legs. He had, he had legs. And, of course, he had skates on. All right, so that's our that's our shape stage. So let's I'm going to switch to the black, and let's uh, let's really make this uh, cool. So we're going to add some eyebrows on to Peter Puck like this. You never seen eyebrows on a puck? Come on, they all have them. Ch check next time you're out playing playing hockey. All right, and we're going to draw. Eyes like this. And we're going to draw his mouth. And now we're going to draw the face of the puck, just this part right here. That wasn't a very good circle I did. Okay, so let's draw this arm here. And then we could draw this. Once you draw the arm, you could draw the side of the puck. And then we can do the other side. You could do the other hand over here. All right. How's everybody doing? Good? All right, so let's draw let's draw the skates on them. All right, so that's our, and I'm going to draw some, because he's on ice, I'm going to draw some, some ice behind him. All right, so we're going to now erase our line, so all we have is a puck shape. So now Peter Puck, and you, you, you can go and look this up if you want, if you go and put in Peter Puck, but the sides of the puck, are black, but he leaves the face of the puck white, probably because they've drawn all over it. So it's going to look like this. All right. And I'm going to draw, I'm going to color his eyes in. And I'm going to draw, I'm going to color black here. I'm going to color black for his hockey tape. because. Pretty cool. Now, 
Peter Peter Puck, his face was actually orange. So underneath his face, right about here, it was all orange, just right here. And if you remember the old pucks from the from my day, they all they would have like a pattern on the puck usually. So that's why they had it more orange, I think. Okay, and all of his arms were red. So So we'll do all of his arms and his legs were red. So you can make them all red. <laughs> Even his skates were red. And that's it. It was really easy. That's all the colors you have to actually put on there. <laughs> that's it. That's all Peter Puck had. And always, always sign your work. Every good artist signs their work. So always sign your work. That way, when you sell it, when you sell it later on, you'll be famous. That's how that works. That's what they tell you anyway. Yeah. Yeah, this is the last one for today. We're going to do this again next Monday if you guys want to join us. We're going to be doing this again. Did everybody have fun? So here's your homework for the week. The teacher did not tell me, the teacher did not tell me to do this, but try drawing something around your house, maybe the lamp or something. You, that's a good uh, exercise for the week. Try drawing different stuff that's uh, real and make it into a cartoon. It's a fun way to practice your drawing. Any quest any questions? Anybody got any questions? Want me to answer? Yeah. If you go to um if you go to uh BruceArtwitchProductions.com, if you go to the online art instruction, there's other videos you can draw along with if you want. So you can draw along with there. Thank you everybody for being on. Thanks for joining me today. You guys were fun.